Octodad Dadliest Catch is obviously very silly, but it's also sort of brave. Half controlling an octopus pretending to be a human may make for a quick laugh, but building a whole game around it? Madness. It's so gutsy, so endearingly stupid, it's hard to critique it like I would any other game. Yeah, I know this bit doesn't work, my heart says, but may I remind you you're controlling a goddamn octopus? Octodad is, well, he's just that, an octopus who also happens to be the devoted father of two. Don't try to puzzle out the biology. Believe me, it won't end well. The awkwardness of Octodad's situation is represented by the bizarre controls, which map one of his leg tentacles to each trigger and one of his arm tentacles to the thumbsticks. A lot of the fun of Octodad is derived from just how ineffective a control scheme this is. Watching him try to pour milk for his daughter as he simultaneously flips a living room table, pulls a painting from a wall, and chucks the carton accidentally at his son really is endlessly entertaining. It's all pretty absurd, but it's grounded by setting the game in a world that's otherwise perfectly ordinary. Perhaps it's their own self-delusion or his particularly convincing suit, but Octodad's family flatly refuses to acknowledge that their dad has eight legs, communicates exclusively in gurgles, and is the exact shade of an overripe lemon. As funny as this central gag is, it's not enough to carry a full game, even one with Dadliest Catch's two-hour running time. Sadly, when our hero moves away from the mundane into well-trod video game territory is when the wheels start to come off. Dadly's Catch introduces a villain, a chef obsessed with unsuiting Octodad and revealing his aquatic identity. Our hero will occasionally stand his ground and try to fight, but more often simply run for his life. Eventually, more enemies are introduced and bring with them stealth sequences. These tried and true tropes may work perfectly well in other games, but in other games you don't play an octopus who can barely walk across a room without having to file an insurance claim. When the bizarre controls make mundane tasks impossible, Dadly's Catch is too funny to be frustrating. But when it piles on the weight of traditional video game challenges, controlling the tendrils of an uncooperative marionette becomes instantly less appealing. So does this brash, patently insane concept work as a fully-fledged game? Not perfectly, no. But it's also so funny and weird that you ignore it at your own peril. It's more than a little ungainly, but much like Octodad himself, it's a wonder the thing moves at all. <laughs>